Uh, another point, don't pay up front. You don't need to. Okay, when you're dealing with adverse credit, don't pay up front uh, because, you know, you don't have to. Stay away from payday loans. They're a nightmare and lenders absolutely hate them. Niche Advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. I'm here from Niche Advice. Hope you're well. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. Um, I'd like to start off by saying Niche Advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority, and I am one of the principal directors of Niche Advice. Right, let's talk about um, adverse credit, uh, people who've had past credit problems. Now, I've actually did a video, and I will leave a link somewhere here um, to the video, uh, which was very successful, and you know, it's got a lot of comments on there and a lot of likes about um, credit reports and you know, people who've had credit issues. Um, but this is really, this video is recorded after COVID, so uh, we're in June now, so a lot of things have changed. So let's talk about some of the things that we can help you with still, or we can't. So what's changed in the last five months? I think it was five months ago I recorded the last video. And um, what's changed is a lot of the lenders have come out of the market and haven't re-entered. What that means is, and when they have re-entered, they're a lot less riskier in terms of what they will accept. If you've had recent adverse, and that's missed mortgage payments and things like that, um, you're gonna find it difficult to get a mortgage. Certainly you're gonna need a bigger deposit than you did five months ago. So that's one of the um, problem areas. Um, unsecured debt, I've still got some solutions out there, but I think um, uh, anything more serious, default CCJs and stuff like that, again, we've got some options in the last year or two, um, but it really is relative. Um, there's less choice out there, and certainly around the deposits, where, where I was talking about, you know, 85% loan to value before, I was saying, you know, you could get pretty much everybody was at 15% deposit, I think they're now at 20 to 25% deposit, okay? Now, it's all relative, you know, it just depends on what, what, what the issue has been. You know, if it's a minor issues, then we should be able to get it through the high street. If it's more serious, then it just depends on how bad it is and how recent it was. So, um, you know, it, it, we, we've still got some options out there. There are more and more lenders coming into the fold. However, it's not as good as it was five months ago. Okay, so um, bear that in mind. I did mention this in my last video. There is a big difference between, you know, people say, oh, I've got bad credit. Well, you know, a Virgin Mobile mobile phone mispayment is a totally different um, thing than, a, you know, a state of six, which is six months late on your mortgage. Okay, um, what you will find generally if you've been late, late on your mortgage, a couple of times in the last year, you'll have to wait a year or two. Um, a lot of lenders are very nervous around that. Um, CCJs, whether they're settled or unsettled, if they're a couple of years old, we should be able to place them. So with defaults. Um, debt management, again, we've got some options out there. Then you get into more serious sort of bankruptcies and IVS. Again, there are some solutions. Generally, when it comes to those, you've got to be away from it. Now, discharge for three years. Um, there are some, you know, one or two solutions out there, but you've got to be big deposits, you know, maybe 40% deposit to make that work. So, um, but when you go down the three, you know, after three years, you know, your deposit amount drops, you know, 15% deposit will probably do it. Um, but it just depends on what's on your credit report, what's left on the credit report. You know, there's still lots of CCJs and stuff showing where they're on the bankruptcies. And also make sure if you've been bankrupt, you clear up your credit report. I so many credit reports I see, they've still got a lot of stuff from their, you know, bankruptcy discharge that should have fallen off. Um, common things that I'm seeing at the moment, a lot of payday loans. Stay away from payday loans. They're a nightmare. And lenders absolutely hate them. Okay. Um, there's a mis um, miscommunication out there, really, misperception out there that payday loans are good. They improve your credit. They don't. Lenders absolutely hate them. And to be honest with you, it makes sense. Why would you, if you haven't experienced difficulty, go and get a, I don't know, 2,000% interest rate loan? That just shows, that just screams to lenders. Of financial difficulty and do they want to lend to someone who's had distress problems financial difficulty no they don't okay what lenders want to see is someone who went through a blip and has got it sorted and there was a reason for it that's what lenders want to see okay lenders don't want to see pay their loan oh 180 pound pay their loan again oh next month 200 pound pay their loan again and guess what missed payment on the pay their loan guess what default on the payday loan 
they absolutely hate that so and you know, there are trends i'm seeing a lot more payday loans i'm seeing a lot more mobile phone stuff like i said some lenders actually completely ignore mobile phones okay um but yeah just just be be mindful around um getting yourself in, in debt really um uh, because you might not get out of it um now when you're dealing with adverse credit is you know it's a more risk uh, riskier category you really need to understand your stuff. You really need some professional advice around uh, around this, um, because if you do not um, if you do not pay up, they will repossess your house. You know, it's as simple as that. So um, you know, and you, you know, and then you start from square one again. You know, um, a lot of the people that I've helped over the years, they've got themselves in trouble few years ago we've managed to get them a mortgage sometimes i'll get them a mortgage on a very high rate say six seven percent rate back in the day we used to do them six seven percent then maybe they came back to me in two years after that they've proven a good track record maybe we've got them a four percent interest rate now they're down the high street we're getting a one and a half percent interest rate so don't try to jump too much um and, and also you know save up save up that extra five percent if you think you need to you know hold hold off you know don't and i, I had this conversation with my clients all the time and i feel well you're not ready um you know stay in your job a little bit longer be a little bit more secure before you move to take more debt on okay because when you're taking out mortgages not for the next year it's not for the next two years just because you know you've got a bonus next quarter doesn't mean you can afford your mortgage long term these mortgages are for often 25 years sometimes 30 years so um it, you've got to you've got to make sure just because you've got affordability now you may not have that in 20 years time and um, that's important we've got to work out a plan of how we deal with things um so yeah i hope you found this useful please do like and subscribe and um you know make sure you understand what you're getting yourself into um, and don't just willy-nilly go and speak to brokers and start having searches done under you okay uh, and this is another one that i come across most of the times now i'm coming across brokers where sorry clients that have been to other brokers and they haven't been, managed to be helped um, now that could be literally their credit's really bad or they've got bad affordability um, so it's not, you know, just because the broker, you know, hasn't made, managed to place him, the brokers are useless and all brokers are useless. They're not. There are lots of really, really good brokers that deal with specialist, um, specialist strangers. Uh, another point, don't pay up front. You don't need to. OK, when you're dealing with adverse credit, don't pay up front uh, because, you know, you don't have to. Someone like us, we charge £499 or half a percent or one percent of the loan, but only on completion, only on completion of the mortgage. OK, so don't pay anything up front um, because you don't know you're, you're a riskier client and there's a higher chance of you being declined. So why do you want to pay for something when you don't know you've got it? So um, I hope you found all of this useful. Take care. All the best and stay safe. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker before applying. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up your repayments.